All right then, gang. So, time to move on to the second layout we're going to build, which looks something like this. And the name of this site, by the way, is a nod to a game I've been obsessed with playing for the last two months or so, Elden Ring, which is probably one of the best games I've ever played in recent times, at least. So, I strongly recommend that. But anyway, we've got a header at the top of the page, spanning the full width. And then below that, we've got a sidebar on the left, the main content in the middle, and another sidebar on the right. And then right at the bottom is a footer going all the way across as well. And this kind of layout is a variation of what you typically call the Holy Grail layout. It's like a silver bullet layout that suits a lot of standard news or blog sites. And again, this layout's gonna be fully responsive so that at smaller size screens, the grid layout changes and the content gradually starts to stack on itself. So. This is the layout we're gonna be building in this lesson. And again, all the starter project files and the finished project files are gonna be on this GitHub repo right here. So feel free to grab those before we start. Sure then, I'm inside the third folder right here, Holy Grail, and in the index.html file, very much a blank file again. We just have this link to the styles.css file, and over in that, we just have a couple of styles and a font input, which is again, surprise, surprise, pop-ins, margin of zero on the body as well, then UL and LI tags. We strip away the padding, and we say the list style type is none. So just a couple of reset styles right there, and then finally, we have an image folder with this banner image inside it, all right? So let's start off by creating the HTML template. So there's essentially gonna be five different sections in this layout. We're gonna have the header at the top, then below that on the left is the nav. In the middle of the screen is gonna be the main article. Then on the right of that is gonna be an aside with a bit of information about the article, and then right at the bottom is the footer. Okay, so those five things we're gonna do here. So let's create the header first of all, dead simple, and inside that an H1. And in fact, before we do any of this, what we're gonna do, let me cut that, is surround the entire content in a div with a class of grid container. This is gonna be our grid. Every single thing in this page is gonna be a grid item, all right? So the header is a grid item. So the H1 inside that header is gonna be the fog wall, like so, and then that's all we need for the header. And this is gonna span across however many columns we have, the entire width. Now, below that, on the left, we have a nav. So let's do a nav. And inside here, we're gonna have basically a load of categories. So let's say categories, as if these were like blog categories. Now, they might normally be links, but in our case, I'm just gonna do li tags. And to save me typing them all out from scratch, I've just copied them from the course files over here. Woohoo! All right, so we have film and cinema, books and reading, games and consoles, blah, 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 doesn't really matter. Then below the nav, we have the article itself. And inside the article, we're gonna have a bit of content. We need an H2 for the title, and that's gonna be something like the best five open world games, like so, or open world adventure games. And then below that, we need an image for the article, and the source is in the image folder, then forward slash banner dot PNG. And for the alt, we'll just say article banner, really bland. And then we need a couple of paragraph tags. So let's say P, and then I'm gonna say lorem 50 for each one. I'm gonna duplicate this by saying alt, shift, and down, and that duplicates it for me, awesome. So that's the article that sits in the middle. Now on the right, we need the aside. So let's do an aside tag for that. And inside it, we're gonna have a UL tag. And inside that, the first LI is gonna have a paragraph tag where we have a strong tag inside that. And this is kind of like a little title, if you like. We'll just say published on. So information about the article itself. And below it, we'll have another paragraph tag. We'll say May, I don't know, um, what's the date today? I think it's the 6th or something like that. Probably long into the future by the time this gets on YouTube, but anyway. So May the 6th, 2022. All right, so let's come down, do another li tag. And in fact, what we'll do is copy this and paste it down here. And instead of published on, we'll say in the category, and it's gonna be in the category of games and consoles. And then we'll paste it in one more time and we'll say written by, and it's gonna be written by our favorite author, 
Mario. All right, so that's pretty much all we need for the aside. And then after the aside, we have a footer. And inside the footer, we'll just do a paragraph tag that says copyright. We can spell it 2022, the fog vol. All right, so that's pretty much all the content we need. And if we go over here, we can see all of the content and it looks absolutely shoddy. So let's now start on the CSS and make this into a big grid that we can display all this content on. So what we're essentially gonna do is, first of all, style the grid container, and then we're gonna assign each of these elements inside that grid container an area on the grid to take up. So let's go to styles.css and let's style the grid hyphen container, first of all, and we're gonna say that we want this to be display as grid, and then we wanna specify the columns. Now there's gonna be three columns, right? Because in the main content in the middle, we're gonna have the navbar on the left over here. Then we're gonna have the main content in the middle and then the aside on the right. Now, there's three columns. However, the middle column right here is gonna be much bigger than the left column and the right column. So how do we do that? Well, we could do something like this. We could say grid hyphen templates columns and we could say the left one is 200 pixels the middle one is 500 and the right one is 200 pixels or something like that but i like to work in fractions so instead of hard coding the sizes what i'm going to do is say one fraction for the left then the middle column is going to be three fractions and we can do this we can make it so that the different grid columns are of different widths all right so there's five fractions altogether. The left one is going to be one fraction of that. The middle column is going to be three fractions. So three times as big as the left one. And the right one is going to be one fraction as well. So five fractions in total. So it's a bit like saying that this is 20% of the width. This is 20% of the width. And this is 60% of the width. Okay. Anyway, we're also going to add on a column gap. So instead of just saying gap this time, I'm going to say column gap. And that means that we're only applying the gap between columns and not rows. So let's make that 30 pixels. All right, so if I save this now, then at the minute it looks stupid because we have this in the first column, this in the second, this on the third, etc. Doesn't make sense. We want this thing right here to span all the way across the top. So it needs to be all three columns in width. So let's style that next. We'll say header and then inside that grid hyphen column and we're going to say span three so it spans all three columns now we don't need to say span five because there's five fractions it doesn't work like that there's only three columns one two three even though the three columns are of different widths there's still only three columns and we want this header to span all three of those columns now let's save this for now and just preview we can see that now this is at the top and even though the text is on the left, it's still taking up all three columns going across. And then below that, we have this in the left column, this in the middle bigger column right here, and then this in the right column, awesome. So let's just centralize this text over here. I'm gonna say text hyphen align is gonna be center. And then also I'm gonna apply a border bottom to the header and it's gonna be one pixel, it's gonna be solid and it's gonna be DDD, which is a lightish gray. Save that, all right, looking pretty good. Cool, so already this is looking pretty much like the layout that we want. Now, I do want to style these up a little bit to make them look a bit better. So let's go back over here and we're gonna start with the nav. So let's say nav. By the way, all of these elements now, they've gone onto the new row and they're automatically being placed in the first column here, the second column and the third column. We don't have to manually apply which column they go into because that's the default order of them in the HTML, all right? And like I said before, this is three fractions in width. This is one and this is one. Okay, so let's go back to the nav. We want to apply a padding to the nav just to space out a little bit and that's gonna be 30 pixels and also a border hyphen right, which is gonna be one pixel solid and DDD. So let's save that and see what it looks like. Yep, pretty good, cool. So now we can move on to the, in fact, let's just style the LIs really quickly as well. So I'm gonna say nav and then any LI inside that and I'm gonna say text decoration 
underline and this is just a bit of a cheat to make it look like it's a link I know it's not a link but nevertheless it looks like a link now all right so nav li next I want to style up the article in the middle so let's grab the article tag like so and um, we're going to give this some padding and it's going to be 30 pixels like the nav then for the h2 in the article which is the title of the article this thing right here we want to style that a little bit as well to make it a bit bigger so we'll say font hyphen size is going to be 3.5 m's and then the max width of this is going to be 800 pixels so that means it's going to go onto a new line as well all right looking pretty good cool so after that i want to style the image to make sure that it's only ever 100 percent width of the column so at the minute it's not quite 100% width of the column because the column goes up to about here. I want it to go all the way over to the right, so take up the full width available to it. So we'll say width is 100% like so, and we should see that go a little bit bigger, does it? Okay, so maybe it did already go to the edge of the column. Oops, that's why. We need the image selector right here, article image. Okay, looking better, sweet. So after the article image, we want to style up the paragraph tags down here just to make them look a bit better. So article P and then inside there, we're going to say margin hyphen top is going to be 30 pixels to bring it down from the image. The line height is going to be two M's. That just makes it a bit more readable, gives it a bit more breathing room, I think. And then the color is going to be hash 777. So a gray color. All right, let's save that yep looking a bit better all right so now after that we can go to the aside over here on the right so let me say aside and then inside here we'll say padding is 30 pixels just like the other two tags and then the border left this time is going to be one pixel solid ddd gray color all right save that looking good and then finally we want to style this footer at the bottom so let's say footer and spell it correctly and then inside here we want to make this span all three columns right because at the minute it's just this first column that it's using so we want to say grid hyphen column span three to take up the full width and then also we're going to say text align center so this is very much like the header the border top though instead of the border bottom is going to be one pixel solid and DDD and then finally we'll give it some padding which is going to be 30 pixels all the way around awesome save that and there we go it's looking pretty good so that is that layout created so quickly using CSS grid just using three columns right here now we are going to apply responsive styles because when we get to smaller screens it all looks squashed up and not very readable so we're going to start applying responsive styles now so let's head back to the css and the first thing i'll do is place a little comment right here to say responsive and now we'll just create some media queries now the first media query i want to do is for around 1200 pixels so if i just open up this look at the screen size up here when we get to about this size 1200 pixels this starts to look a bit squashed so we're going to start to stack items up at this screen size a little bit maybe one at a time so that the categories maybe go up here but these two still stay side by side so let's go back over here and create those media queries so the first one is going to be at media screen and and the condition is the max width is 1200 pixels and when that is the case or below we're going to take the nav first of all and we want to stack this on the top so at the minute it's spanning one column right here on the left but instead what i want to do is make it span three columns so it goes all the way across the top here and it doesn't take up this room for the main content on the left so let's say grid hyphen column and it's going to be span three like so and also we need to take away the border on the right so border right is going to be zero now and instead apply a border bottom of one pixel solid and ddd all right so if i save this now over here we can see that this now stacks on the top now we need to address this down here in a minute we will do that but first of all i want to make these sit left to right instead of on top of each other 
So let's say nav li, and we're just going to display those as inline hyphen block, inline block, just so they sit next to each other. And also we're going to give each one a margin to the right of about 10 pixels, so they spread out a little bit as well. All right, save that, looking better. So at the minute, this is being now pushed into the first column on the left, which is three fractions. And then this is taking up the rest of the space in the row, and that's not what we want. So what I want now is for this main content to take up the first two columns, and that's the one fraction column on the left, and then the three fraction column in the middle. So we need to span it two columns, right? So let's grab the article and we're going to say grid hyphen column, this one right here. Couldn't be bothered typing it. All right. And then this time it's going to be span two. So it spans the first two columns now. And if I save this, then we should see that looks a bit better. So we have the main content on the left and the aside on the right. But at larger screens, it's still three columns. One for this, one for this, and one for this. It's still three columns here, by the way. It's just that this is taking up two of them and this one of them. And that looks pretty good, all right? So that's the first kind of media query done. Um, I think what I'll do is just reduce the padding over here a little bit. So let's say a side and take the padding down to 16 pixels, just because the text looks a bit squashed otherwise. All right, that's better. All right, so now when we get to around about 980 pixels, it still starts to look a little bit squashed. So I think I'll stack them all up on top of each other, maybe move this to below the article. So let's do that. So another media query down here, and this time for 980 pixels. So at media, screen, and then and, and then the condition is gonna be max hyphen width, and it's gonna be 980 pixels. Open that up, and we wanna grab the nav, but also the article, and also the aside. So we're standing all three here and we're gonna say grid hyphen column and all three of these are gonna span three columns. So if I save this now, if we go down a bit, we can see this is spanning all three columns, so is this, and then so is this. Now we just need to change the aside a little bit, how it looks. So we'll say aside, and then we're gonna strip away the border left, we don't need that anymore, and then we need a border top instead. And that's going to be one pixel solid DDD. And then finally, I want to take the article H2 because I just want to reduce the font size. It looks a bit big for this size screen. So I'll say font hyphen size, and that's going to be 2.5 M's. Save that. And okay, doesn't make that much difference. Okay, that's because we've got a gap right here. Save it. All right, looks a bit better. Cool. So now we have this fully responsive holy grail layout. So this is for desktop sizes. Then as we get a bit smaller, this first grid item stacks on the top and takes up the whole width. We just have these two next to each other. And then as we get smaller again, everything stacks on top of each other. So we have that side at the bottom and that's better for smaller screens as well. Dead, dead simple holy grail layout.